welcome back to another g auto repair video today we're going to check the transmission fluid on another wonderful sealed transmission this time on a 2010 toyota highlander and uh i'm gonna show you how to do a quick and easy check um now the, the way that the service manual says is you gotta jump on the on the data link connector a couple of terminals there then you gotta alternate um the uh the shifter between n and d for about six seconds and then the d symbol here should turn on for about two seconds and uh, at which point you turn on the vehicle wait for it to reach its temperature and then it'll start flashing or it will stay on and it will tell you that it's in the if it stays solid you're at the right temperature if it starts flashing you're over temperature so you have to let it cool and whatnot I'm not gonna get into all that this is a quick and easy way just to check it without all that fancy schmancy mumbo jumbo that probably doesn't make a whole lot of difference anyways now the level does go up and down with temperature but I assure you it's probably not gonna be that much so it's already warmed up normal operating temperature as you can see so we're gonna go ahead and come down here the good thing is that this is a, a pretty tall vehicle so we don't have to jack it up or anything but this that looks like a drain plug that is really not a drain plug this right here is where you check the fluid now this is a six millimeter hex so there's a little tube here that actually is the level at least Toyota kind of made it simple so if you see all that coming out that means that it's overfilled okay so there shouldn't be that much coming out Okay. There should be a now if nothing came up, if nothing came out of the uh, drain here, then you know that you have to add fluid to it. In, in this case, we don't have to add fluid to it. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it right there. I know it's got fluid. See how it's all foamy? A little bit of too much fluid can be a problem. Now, the uh, owner of the vehicle told me that he felt like there was a delay in, in shifting. I did drive it and it felt fine to me, so... I didn't notice any any issues with it, but that was his concern initially. So I just told him I would just check the level real quick, just to make sure that he's not low. Um, the condition of the fluid is a little bit dark, which is expected, but it doesn't smell burnt or anything. It actually. Now, assuming that you had to add fluid to it, you would remove right here. There's two 10 millimeter bolts here. You would just e remove this. Get this out of the way, it's hanging up here uh, on a little thing there. But. If you see right here, this is the fill plug right here. This is the fill plug. Right there. So you would just remove that fill plug and you would pour in your, uh, your ATF through there. Obviously with this removed, 
until it starts pouring out of there. Once it pours over out of there, you're you're done. You go ahead and uh, put your plug back on, and you put this one back on, and you're done. Okay, and that's all there is to it. At least this one's a little easier. You don't need no special um, measuring dipsticks or anything like that. I did a video a while back on a, on a Jeep that you needed a special tool to, to measure the uh, the ATF and on uh, Dodges and whatnot. Sometimes you need a, to purchase a special dipstick just to check those um, just to check those uh, those levels but in this case at least Toyota was kind enough not to require any of that um, to fill it to fill it up though you may need to get a, a little pump tool to, to pump the fluid in there I uh, if you go to my channel I actually made one a homemade one which works very well if you haven't seen that uh, video I encourage you to see it and uh, if you want to see a little pump in action, you can actually watch that Jeep video. And you can see it in action. So here we have a little bit of uh, extra ATF there. It's probably about a quarter of a, of a quart. So it wasn't that much. Well, YouTube, thanks for watching. I just wanted to make this a quick video without stretching it and prolonging it and making it all complicated or whatnot. So this is a quick, easy way to check uh, your ATF level on a 2010 Toyota Highlander. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next video. Bye.